People who have developed film. What is the most shocking thing you have ever seen on a customer's camera? NSW. I work at a one hour photo lab. Some lady printed out pictures of her infant son's circumcision. That one was probably the most shocking to me. We had a woman come in who was probably in her 50s. She tried to print out some nude pictures of herself. Me and my co-worker had to explain to her that we couldn't print them because it was against company policy. She got mad and told us. But I still look good for my age. See like as if we were going to agree with her and let her do it. This one's not really shocking. But it makes me laugh when I think about it. I had a little old lady come in one day to print out some pictures. She calls me over to the kiosk and asks for my opinion. She has a bunch of selfies and wants to know which one is the best because she is going to try online dating and needs a good profile picture. The saddest one was a lady who was about 45-50 years old. She came in to get some pictures of herself printed. She said she was trying to choose pictures for her obituary because she'd just been diagnosed with some disease and doctors told her she may not live past another 6 months. I really had no words for that one. Completely caught me off guard. Most pictures I print are of vacations, family, friends, babies, pets, etc. But this one still haunts me. I'm pretty sure it's been over 6 months since I seen that woman. Makes me wonder how she is. Well. By the sounds of it, she's probably not with us anymore. But no need to feel bad about it OP. Everyone has a time to go. At least you helped her out with something that mattered to her. During my time in a Walgreens photo lab years ago, the funniest thing I recall seeing was a roll of film from a party. The guy who dropped the disposable camera off appeared in one of the pictures in Tighty What is wearing a cowboy hat, boots, and a belt with toy six shooters while he was chugging a bottle of Miller Lite. The creepiest involves a story. An older man in his 50s or so came in looking really nervous. When he dropped off his film, he had a weird rambling story he gave me about how his son and daughter-in-law abused his granddaughter, who was about 4, and that his lawyer instructed him to take some pictures. So not to worry about what I saw because his lawyer said it was okay. His granddaughter was not in the kind of poses you'd think a lawyer would tell you to take to prove abuse. And there weren't marks on her or anything. It was pretty sickening. As per company policy, we called the police, developed the film, and made a second set to turn over to the police, with the address phone number name the customer gave us, as evidence. We weren't ever told what happened, but I never saw the guy again, so I hope he's in prison. I like how that guy really wanted his CP but was too freaking stupid to actually think of a good excuse. Kinda related. My dad's friend, Dale, lives in Colorado and he has a cabin in the mountains. Well he had gotten his hunting license taken away, so my dad asks him why he had it taken away. So Dale says that there was a bear breaking into cabins nearby and was a potential danger to the people living there. So long story short Dale shoots the bear out of season and is caught. He was caught by the women developing photos. The judge says to Dale I probably would have let you go if there wasn't these pictures of the bear and there were multiple pictures of the bear sitting at a car table with a hat on, cigarette in its mouth sunglasses on, beer in paw, with a deck of cards. Used to work at Target Photo Lab when I was 16, 2006, which was illegal but my store told me to run to customer service if OSHA ever came in. Anyway, Target's policy is that it is up to the employee's discretion to develop whatever they are not morally opposed to, as long as it was not illegal. Being that I was 16 this probably shouldn't have applied to me but I didn't give a crap. Worst, lady with cigars stuck in her glory hole at an orgy. Best, guy I was sort of starting to date in high school had his little sister come in and develop a roll of film with photo editing. That means I preview the photos and edit them before printing. Was just a bunch of photos of trees and crap until I came to pictures of pieces of paper on a picnic table that in each picture said, Will. You. Go. To. Homecoming. With. Me? He then came in to pick up the pictures himself for the answer and I obviously said yes. Really nice guy but his mom hated me for calling their Italian foreign exchange student pushy. I could have called her an awful C like she was but apparently pushy was too much so they went that. I got lots of pics of naked kids but never any I reported cause they were obviously super innocent. Tommy's first bath with a rubber ducky. Lucy and Kate running through the sprinkler for the first time. You get the idea. It's very easy to tell. 
If you have half a freaking brain, what is normal and what is physicalizing a child? Lucy and Kate running through the sprinkler for the first time. Maybe somebody had a sprinkler fetish, and just had the kids run through the picture to hide the fact. About 5 years ago I worked at a Walmart photo lab. At the time I was by far the youngest employee and everyone else in the photo lab could have easily been my grandmother. There was an online order system at the lab where a person could submit pictures online. They would print out, and then the customer could come pick them up. When a person submitted an online order, a little label would print out with the person's name and how many of each size of picture they wanted. One fateful afternoon a label printed out with the name John Doe, which I remember laughing at briefly. I went over to the printer to grab the order as it printed and boom 8x10 inches glossy of Tub Girl. You haven't truly seen Tub Girl until you've seen it 8x10 glossy. Anyway about this time the label printer started spewing out orders non-stop with names like lololol. 133,713,371,337 And frick you. I ran over to the computer to see that about 100 online orders had been submitted and most of the pictures were either p memes, or insults. My 60 year old female boss then came to see what was up. I tried to explain to her that people were playing a prank on us and we needed to shut down the lab. She understood but insisted on seeing the pictures. Despite my warnings. You ever seen a internet noob exposed to all the filth of the internet in the span of 30 minutes? Cause I have. It ain't pretty. Ultimately we shut down for a few hours and cancelled any orders that came from the internet. We called the cops but since there was no CP they didn't really care to do anything. The thing was this went on for months. Not to that extreme but at least once a week for as long as I worked there. At one point someone printed off a screenshot that had a web URL in it. Which led to some board over at 4chan. I went and looked at it and it had some instructions on how to troll Walmart by submitting fake orders. The worst part was it didn't say to whatever Walmart you felt like submitting to. It said to submit specifically to the one where I worked. All in all it wasn't that big a deal but I did get to explain what a rickroll is to a bunch of old women. So that was neat. Used to work a few different places. Probably the most shocking was traffic accident photos from the police. The one that sticks in my head is an arm dangling out of an SUV window. Obviously the guy was dead. And it just seemed so sad. The grossest was industrial accident photos. Flayed hands caught in machinery, etc. Also lots of people being naughty for the camera. My mom developed photos. Or whatever you would call it these days. For years. She said she would get nudes once in a while. Never anyone you would want to see nude anyway. We also lived next to a very popular mountain bike park. And one time she found some photos of a guy's mangled leg ankle after he had snapped it. Worst was a bunch of pictures of naked kids. She had to call the cops, obviously. I feel like he must have wanted to be caught or something. Worked at the Walmart photo lab circa 2006. It was actually a really chill job and I saw my fair share of weird nudity and even a woman in a fancy hotel room with a towel folded in the shape of a cobra going up a hoo-ha. However, by far the weirdest thing I've ever experienced was a roll of film that had all of these awesome dynamic action shots of this one dude. It was him diving into water from tall rocks, skydiving, dirt bike riding, etc. He was doing all of these amazing things and I was getting so jealous, but also excited to talk about this with him when he came in. I like to have a relationship with the cool customers, but then I got to the end of the roll of film. It was him, in a casket. He had died. I never found out how it happened or anything but it was just one of those shocking moments that sticks with you. I didn't expect him to be dead after watching him live his life to the fullest like that. Let's see the miracle of birth several times, nude girl in a field, she was the one who dropped off the film and was attractive, unattractive woman in obscene poses like exposing herself, digital on a kiosk so other people would have seen them as she made the order, that's about it, no child pee though I do know the handling procedure, mostly, especially with digital, you pretend not to notice something embarrassing, sucking a corn cob for example, while helping a customer. I was unlucky in order to develop child P once. We called the cops of course who required copies and instructed us to package the film as normal and call them after the customer came in for their pictures. When they came in it was tense and they opened their pics and flipped through them like nothing was unusual. 
Super creepy. No idea what came of it other than one angry phone call from the customer about us getting their name on a list again. Never heard from or saw them again. Also, these were regular customers we'd known for years, and the pics were of their children. No idea what came of it other than one angry phone call from the customer about us getting their name on a list again. WTF. I was a head photo specialist for Walgreens in college. We sold a reusable disposable camera that would get loaded with film for free every time they brought it in for one hour processing. Two young girls were with an older man and they brought in a camera for development. The pictures began innocent enough, but around 10 images and they became very graphic. I immediately covered the drying rack and alerted my store manager. One look at the images and he had the local PD on the phone. About an hour later the girls came in to pick up their images and the police stepped in to speak with them. The older man was in the car waiting so another officer went outside and brought him in. Turns out the man was one of the girl's father and while he was working his daughter and her best friend decided to do their best to mimic images they found browsing the internet. The images and negatives were destroyed and the girls were given a lesson on how dangerous this could have been for them and the father. People still bring in those cameras for their free film. Walgreens doesn't even develop film in store anymore. I worked for Walgreens photo lab for a couple of years. By far the worst was a series of pictures that this old man came in to get developed. All of them were a close up of his junk. With a giant keychain. Think janitor's keys. Tied to a rope hanging off his dong. All of the pictures were of him swinging it around like he was trying to make his dong a clock. The weirdest ones I saw involved a middle aged couple who either owned a million pets or got friends to lend them pets for awkward photo shoots. They came in every week with a new set to develop. Cats in football uniforms, guinea pigs with glasses, etc. One time I developed a photo shoot of a bunch of lizards dressed like cowboys in front of a cardboard box colored to look like an old western. Weird stuff. These were not high quality photos. It's possible, I guess, but it would have had to have been their hobby job, or something. A woman's aborted miscarried fetus. There were probably half a roll's worth of those. Numerous pictures of a skin infection that would have done well in our WTF. The most, in, famous was an obese couple who had no recollection of the coked out orgy they apparently participated in and photographed via disposable while in Vegas. That was fun explaining why we couldn't sell them the pictures. Forgot the woman that had to print out pictures for evidence that her ex-husband was physical shaming her 3 year old daughter. That was easily the saddest. Ah the good old days of film. I had a buddy that every time he found an unattended camera, like at a party or someone's house, would grab it, head for the toilet and take a picture of his junk, just to make the developing really fun. Sam's club employee here. Someone called over the walkie for member assistance in photo. Since I cover everything in the tech department, I responded and made my way over there, where there was a woman who was decent looking, albeit with a bun in the oven. She was standing at the Kodak kiosk. There's a Kodak kiosk connect app that can be downloaded to your phone, and once you do so, you can connect to the wireless connection that the kiosk creates. Once that connection is established, the member has the option of viewing the photos they want to print on their phone or they can view their album directly on the kiosk screen. Now that the setup is out of the way, the awkwardness begins. The photo department is right next to our front door and exit. Our door greeter, a lovely little old lady, walked over and introduced me to the pregnant woman. It was her daughter. After I gave out a quick nice to meet you, the door greeter returned to her post. One thing I forgot to mention, prego lady also had with her a girl who I presume to be her daughter. She couldn't have been more than 12 or 13, and she comes into play in just a moment. I established the connection from her phone to the kiosk and Prego opted to view all the pictures on the kiosk itself. She was trying to scroll through all her photos when her daughter took it upon herself to demonstrate how it works. She scrolled all the way to the right. Why? Why did she do it? This woman had various shots of herself nude along with some close-oops of her fingering herself. She quickly scrolled back to the left and her daughter flashed me an embarrassed smile. I played it off like nothing happened, but all three of us knew it was the most awkward moment any of us would experience for a long time. I developed photos for a bit at the grocery store I once worked at. In no particular order, the most shocking things were as follows. 
a woman with an 8 ball in her fanny and the cue stick in her butt, a man we nicknamed Chester as he always had pictures of very obese women covered in various food items, pictures of dogs fricking which were from a breeder who made a how to book on canine copulation, quite a few dead bodies from funerals, and last but not least, Kitty P. My manager developed a role of a girl who may have been legal, but her face was covered up, so she called the police anyway. The man showed up, police confronted him and sure enough, he was already a registered offender. Oh, now I remember a good one. A sweet young woman came in and used the kiosk. She was getting 5 4x6 photos and one 5x7. The 5x7 was a very tall African American guy totally nude just laying on a bed I printed it out, and mentioned to her to be careful with her subject matter next time. It's perfectly legal to print those pictures. However it made me a little uncomfortable because it was a busy day and a bunch of people were looking into my little area when she asked me to crop it and so there are some old women waiting to use the kiosk and waiting for me to be helped and... There I am. With a huge blown up guy butt naked on a bed. The girl told me this was a one time thing and that all it was is proof that he cheated on her. So she left, and a few hours later, she showed back up with the guy and before they entered the store, I'm assuming that's when she decided to show the picture, and next thing everyone in the store hears is an extremely loud scream coming from a guy outside. Turns out he tried to charge the girl, and the girl pulled a Dwight Scroot and basically emptied a can of pepper spray into his eyes. It was a sight to be seen and, and a sound to be heard. My roommate in college worked at a photo lab. This was about 18 years ago. We had a religious neighbor in our apartment complex who lectured us all the time about things we shouldn't be doing. She wasn't a Debbie Downer really, but more of an elitist about her opinions. One day he comes home with a stack of photos. They're of her blow jobbing and fricking from all angles and hand jobbing and so on. I couldn't believe it. She was actually fairly attractive so they were a bit of a pleasure to look at. Today I would be racked with guilt but back then I was barely 18 so I just looked at them. Mouth agape. My roommate just ran off and extra copy of all the pictures. We had that stack sitting around our apartment for the 3 more months I lived there. All the while listening to her every few days tell us why we should wait for marriage to frick. It was surreal. She must have had a serious ability to compartmentalize. My mother used to do this. The police would bring film from investigations. You'd see pictures from accidents where someone died. It would show pictures of people killed in grousome ways in the wreck. Detailed close up pics. I used to have a caseworker for DHR that would get her photos printed with me. She needed the machine to be clear for 10 minutes before she started her order. And for 10 minutes after they finished printing. She did this ensure that she could say with 100% certainty that they were not anyone else's pictures. She was at least considerate enough to come in during our slower hours. Worked for Ritz camera around 2005 to 2007. Underage nudes. Police were contacted every time. I don't know the result of those situations. We had a guy that would come in every week with nudes of random girls he met. Aspiring models. That was pretty creepy. He would tell me the ones that he slept with. Fun unrelated fact, the digital print kiosks save your photos on the hard drive. We would pull them up on the computer when we got bored. Most of the good stuff was on the kiosks because people thought nobody could see. Best to print your steamy or incriminating pics at home. Not sure if shocking is the right word, but I've had a roll of film of an old person in a nursing home and, a few frames later, a hospital bed. Next came pictures of the wake at their funeral. This person was well, got sick and then died all in the span of this single roll of film. Mildly disturbing on an existential level to say the least. Also, what is up with people taking pictures at wakes? Stop that. That's no way to remember your loved ones. I worked at Walgreens doing photo for about a year. Saw lots of fun stuff. Nudes, drugs, etc. Had some chili pee try and get developed through the online drop site. Called the police. They had us call the guy in to get the photos and arrested him on the spot. I guess they were of his daughter and for modeling. Not sure whatever came of that. The real story though. This woman came in with large storage container filled to the top with old rolls of film and disposable cameras. I remember it took me two weeks to develop all of it in between the regular jobs that came in each day. We told her it was going to be pretty expensive. 
she didn't seem to mind. She said she had been saving them her whole life and just now wanted to get them developed. It was crazy. I watched her entire life unfold. It started when she was a teenager and went up until pretty recently. She started looking like her current self towards the end of her photos. I saw her party it up in college, go topless in the hot tub, had what looked like an adult party. I saw her with many men over the years, many many men. I saw her kids grow up too. She had photos of the same guy for a few years, that other guys would pop up here and there. She really liked to take photos of her and guys together, usually during a carnal act. When the photos were finally ready, we called and she came in with this rich looking guy. He paid the dollar sign 900 for all of the photos and we helped lug them out of her car. I was always curious what he thought about all of them. I felt like I had seen this woman grow up. It was weird to see her again when she finally picked up the photos. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.